The Taiwan People's Party, founded by Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe just last year, is imposing strict discipline on its five newly elected legislators at large. If any of them are targeted for observation by the NGO Citizens Congress Watch for subpar performance for two legislative sessions, they'll be expelled from the party. Meanwhile, some KMT legislators are concerned that some legislators at large, handpicked by former KMT chairman Wu Doni, could ruin their party's image. They are calling for a new evaluation system to weed out poorly performing lawmakers. To constrain its five new legislators, the TPP has come up with strict internal regulations. Lawmakers whose conduct is ranked as questionable and worthy of observation by watchdog group Citizens Congress Watch for two consecutive legislative sessions will be expelled from the party. TPP lawmakers who do not vote in accordance with party line when it comes to approving top-level officials appointed by the DPP government or those that vote against their party's wishes up to three times on major judicial cases will also be expelled. We need to create a system. Before this, we can use the code of conduct that everyone else is using. But these standards are quite low. Therefore, we will first establish a new system and then gradually improve our standards. Some in the KMT have also proposed to the party central headquarters that it set up a mechanism for weeding out poorly performing lawmakers. This would constrain the party's legislators at large and prevent controversial lawmakers from damaging the party's image in the legislative chamber. The party should have internal evaluation criteria for all of its legislators at large. This will ensure that KMT voters won't be let down. We definitely need an evaluation system for those who are performing poorly. Politicians waiting in the wings could immediately fill any vacancies created, whether it's the KMT's desire to rise from the ashes or Mayor Kerr advancing his political ambitions. The performance of newly elected TPP and KMT lawmakers in the next legislative session will be something to watch.